What's up, everybody? Much love to you. Happy Friday. Happy Liquid Friday. Welcome to a later sketch a day. I have no idea what I'm drawing today. Zero. So I'm going to rely on you guys. Maybe you can call this a Fan Friday if you want to submit a sketch. Um, i trying to think of the best way to do that right now. Probably Discord. I'd have to go grab my laptop, but <clears throat> um, you could reach out on the Discord. Hello to you all on YouTube if you're watching. Um, best place to be is youtube.com slash I don't usually go live at this time on Fridays, but um, I just thought I would. Anyways, figure it out. What's up, Rodrigo? Hello, hello. I'm just playing some lo-fi music. So usually, I just interact with you animals on YouTube, but we'll just see how it goes today. On the, did I turn on my overhead? I don't think I turned on my overhead camera. I'm a wreck today. Absolute train wreck of a human. I'm trying to get my bearings here, figure stuff out. All right, there we go. My camera even looks weird on screen, so I may have to, <laughs> I may have to reset here. Yeah, it's looking blue. It's weird. It's really, really weird. All right. <clears throat> what's up? What's up? Okay. So let's start by warming up. Let me know where you're watching from. Okay, that, that's better. That's better. We got this sorted out. We can draw. I am at sketchaday.com on Instagram. If you've never watched before, hit subscribe, turn on alerts. Your mama will thank you. My name is Spencer. I like to draw. Um, I'm actually an industrial designer by trade. At least, that's what I was trained to do. Fancy myself more as a creative these days. I do a lot of different things, but drawing is certainly one of them and always will be. So welcome to the show. This is a professional outfit. This is a professional outfit, so while I may have my gin and tonic locked and loaded here, we're gonna have fun. At least I hope we are. I'm switching back to pen and paper. We did digital sketching the last few days we got London we got Taiwan on the insta let's see who's on YouTube Luke Luke is here YouTube's light right now but that's okay usually I go on what would that be 10 hours earlier than I am right now would that be 10 hours no seven hours earlier so understandably we're missing a bunch of people but I'm just gonna do whatever you guys tell me to do. So I'm up for suggestions, hellos, high fives, hugs, whatever you have to offer. I'm a blank canvas today, blank slate, blank mind, blank soul. Hopefully not a blank brain. <laughs> I'm kind of fired up. I've been creating all day. Definitely not hating. Nothing but love for all of you and for the craft. So thank you for hanging out. Again, if it's your first time and you don't know, I do stream on YouTube. That's where the mainstream is happening with the main camera, with the main action, with the main everything. What's up, James? <laughs> thank you, thank you. James says he loves the hat for you guys on YouTube. Much love, like I said, to you, hearts. All right, let's go. Let's do some circles. I like to warm up with circles because they're particularly challenging. You're trying to get like a nice even proportion. If I get no suggestions, I'm just going to do cars and maybe a backpack or a house or something. So hit me up. Let me know. I like to think I can draw pretty much anything. Um, some things I might have to do a little research on or have a little reference, but... I'll attempt most things. I don't do guns. I don't do weapons of mass destruction, mass confusion, mass illusion. That's right, Mehul. Mehul is joining us on YouTube. What's up, James? Luke T, solid as always. Luke, one of our patrons. If you're looking to support what I do, patreon.com slash sketchaday. That'll actually give you access to all of the High resolution scans, files, fans, and crocodiles. Maybe I should become a rapper. 
I'd be a terrible rapper, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Join Patreon. Support your creatives, your creators, your makers, your shakers. Your humble booty shakers, I should say. Like myself. And, uh, yeah, it's a good way to get on the inside track. The inside track. Louis Louis Boucle is asking, can you send me a... Yeah, if, if you send me the sketch to uh, Spencer at sketchaday.com or send them to the Discord, then I'll check. I'm going to have to get up and get my laptop because I forgot to grab my laptop before I started the stream. Probably go for an hour or so, and then I'm going to chill, enjoy my Friday. I was going to go live yesterday, but I've been involved in, it was actually a really cool experience. I was invited to an Adobe event online. Um, usually they do them in person, but I was invited to an Adobe event, and I got to test out Illustrator for the iPad. I can say that because it's an announced product, but I was able to kind of take that for a test drive, kick the tires, so to speak. Super fun. That's amazing. For you guys who grew up, let's see, in the 90s, 2000s, the fact that you can run Illustrator on this super thin thing that's about as thick as my pen here is pretty incredible. Pretty freaking incredible. So... Sorry, Instagrammers. I have to change the setting on my phone. It keeps going to sleep. Just a sec. I don't know why it's doing this either. It never used to do that, so... Alright, we're back. We're back. My apologies. My apologies. Yeah, email me the car sketch. Someone wants a car interior. Stephania. I could do that. I'm gonna have to take this hat off because it actually has a battery in it and a screen and it's kind of warm. Hot air balloon. It's an interesting idea. All right. So while I wait for a few more suggestions to come in, I'm gonna keep ellipsifying here, practicing. Basically, just trying to do a series of ellipses and increase. Yeah, sorry about that, Nana. Um, my phone keeps going to sleep, and I don't know why. It never used to do that, so. Anyhow, trying to increase the degree of the ellipse as we move on. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take this hat off because it's like crazy hot. Um, for you Instagrammers, I'm wearing this hat. Just says much love to you. Much love to you YouTubers as well. What's up, Latrice? Yeah, um, it's pretty wild in Illustrator on the iPad. It's still rough around the edges, I will say, but it shouldn't be as rough a launch as Photoshop was for the iPad Pro. I'll say that. So we're just warming up, getting the muscles warm. I already stretched and did my yoga, meditated before the stream, communed with the the gods of design and art and all things visual. <laughs> we are ready to go. I hope you are too. Grab a beverage, grab a snack, grab a towel if you have to because it's gonna get intense here. Maybe not. I shouldn't promise, I shouldn't uh, commit to things I can't necessarily deliver on. <laughs> and we gotta keep this, keep this okay for the kiddos, for the kitties. All right, so we got a request for robots, car interior, um, hot air balloon. So let me grab some marker paper. We're gonna switch it up here. Kicking it old school. Kicking it old school, you fools. Uh, hold on just a sec. My sister was just calling me. Sorry, guys. 
sorry about that. I'm opening a new, opening a new pad today. It's always oh such a delightful experience when you strip the unnecessary pack plastic off the packaging. I don't know why they do that. <sighs> All right, let's go. Let's see. First request was robots. All right. I usually save robots for Sunday, but let's go for it. What's up, Steve, the design guy? Not to be confused with Steve, the basket weaving guy. I appreciate that distinction. What's up? I mean, you wouldn't want to be confused, would you? Hello, Mehul. Thanks for joining. We only have like 23 people on YouTube. So all you Instagrammers should head over and join. Also, if you join on YouTube, you can turn on alerts so you don't miss when I go live. It's also a plus. I'm gonna use some gray marker and then we'll do some quick robots or a quick robot. I'm trying to decide what, oh, you know what? I was watching uh, Transformers with my kids the other day. That would be fun. Did like some Transformer style Robot, you know, I have to think of the vehicle for this robot, but I'm going to do some sort of Transformers inspired guy here. Do, 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 do. Maybe just get a nice pose stance in place. I'm running out of space, I can tell, but... Just trying to block things in. Actually, maybe I did notice um, in the show that the robots had very chunky, short legs. So maybe this maybe this won't be such a bad thing. You know, and maybe some piece sticking off the back. Um, I have done some work for company, a company that makes transformers, I should say. Hasbro. I've done work for them before. But I'm gonna do some... Yeah, I'm so hot. This is weird. Like my... I'm getting the back sweats, guys. TMI. Probably. TMI. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not totally sold on this because the legs are kind of short, but let's see what we can do here. Can I show how to draw hands fast? Like... Hands that are moving real fast? Is that what you mean? Alright. This is a very dry marker, but we can make it work. Maybe there's some wheels on the back. I'm going to go with an Autobot here. Classic uh, fist. Some lines for a torso here. So I got enough blocked in, I think. How about some sort of arm cannon, arm cannon thing? Just block that in. Now I'll just put in some some lines here. Yeah, it's an Autobot, so gotta have some car features. Here and there, maybe a wheel. Actually, it would be on the other side. <laughs> My bad. A bit of a wheel there, but enough lines here to make it work. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't work full time for Hasbro, but it was, uh, it was a great opportunity. Just doing some contract work for them.
Let's see. What are we going to draw with today? I think my children just turned into baby elephants. They're stomping upstairs. My apologies if you hear that. Um, oh, where's my brush pen? Welcome to Spencer Searches for Pens. All right, if I can't find it, I'll move on here, but I really wanted to use this one pen. All right. Let's go. This is, this is, uh, this is somewhat concerning that I can't find that. Oh, there it is. So I got one of them. And I don't remember what the other one looks like, so we'll make do. Hectorious betraying me and showing up on Instagram when you should be on YouTube. I'll call you out. Nana did not realize I'm on YouTube. Yeah, man, I've been on YouTube for like, how long would that be? Almost a decade? Almost. All right, so. I'm just using a brush pen here for this transformer dude. Yeah, there's, there's a new, uh, Transformers series on Netflix actually. I forgot what it's called. Battle for Cybertron, something like that. It's pretty cool. If you guys like old school Transformers. But we got a request for a robot, so I figured why not? I don't remember, do they have four fingers or is it three? On their, not fingers, but you know what I mean. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I don't remember. So let me know. I guess it doesn't matter. This one has three fingers. His name is Gimpacon. Um, <laughs> thanks for joining today, guys. This is the Transformer. I'm trying to draw, like, the front of some vehicle here, perhaps. Because you want to, like, make this feel like it's part of some car thing but also not. If you're interested in how Transformers are made too, I should say, check out um, The Toys That Made Us on Netflix. It's pretty cool. I can't believe some of you guys didn't know I had a YouTube. Maybe I should stream in the evenings instead. Maybe I should. And then you'll you'll realize, you'll recognize. 4.30 a.m. Maybe you should go back to sleep, Selva. Have a nap. Yes, Nana, I'm disappointed you did not know that I was on... YouTube as well but it is what it is I get it it is what it is uh, my stream is struck no my stream's not struggling I thought my kids were taking my stream down there hope you guys had a good Friday or having a good Saturday I guess at this point
before you have a good Saturday. So it's 4.30 a.m. in India, I just, I just discovered. Y'all are living in the future. Um, so since you're living in the future, can you tell me, like, what's happening in the world? What will tomorrow bring? I've been watching, well, I don't want to spoil it for you, so I'm not going to mention, but plot lines and all that. But I have been watching The Umbrella Academy, pretty good show. I resisted watching it for a while because I thought it would just be an X-Men knockoff, but it's not. It's actually really good. Really, really good. Like, really, really, really good. Changing a few things here on this guy's arm. What's his name again? Gimpacon's arm. I've never actually drawn a transformer, and this is all from my head. So, not bad for the first time, I would say. I would hope. Alright. Cool, cool, let's go. Um, all right, I don't know how to say your name, my Russian friend. Hello, hello. I'm glad that you have benefited from my channel. This is annoying. These little fibers are sticking out on my brush. So this brush is interesting. Um, also, I'm gonna post this link in the YouTube channel. If you are going to get supplies, it's a great link to use because actually I get a little kickback. But um, if you are interested, that is where I have information on all the stuff I use, all the materials, even camera gear, if you're curious. Um, if you yourself wants to stream or get into that, there's information there on that. You can check out. I actually haven't sketched with pen and paper in so long. All right, let me get this other wheel in down here. Okay, so then after the transformer here, I think I'm going to sketch. Someone asked me for sunglasses, right? I think. Yeah, it, Umbrella Academy is a little bit confusing. Um, second season has helped a little bit. I suspect it'll get better. With time, I guess we'll see. They probably don't want to do a full exposition either because, you know, seasons and all that stuff. They've got to. You got to hold something back. It's kind of like when you get married, you don't want to show someone you're full crazy, right? Just kidding. <laughs> that's a mistake if that's the case you definitely want to let your partner know how crazy you are if you're getting married entering a committed situation whatever the case may be 
It's important. I don't want to surprise people. Alright, not the tightest sketch, but loose enough. I mean, not sloppy either, but... So yeah, I'm excited to go finish up the Umbrella Academy. I've been watching, do any of you watch the 100, that series? I've been watching it for like seven years now, or however, however long it's been on. This last season's actually pretty good so far. All right, let's put some like scratches, texture, whatever we gotta do on this dude. Once again, welcome to Sketch Day Live. A uh, little bit of a fan Friday. I'm just doing whatever you guys suggest. So that's my plan here. And so far, we have some pretty good suggestions. I don't know if I'll do the hot air balloon, but um, we've got Our robot sketch underway. I decided to do a transformer just because I've been kind of watching it with my kids. All right, so almost done here. I mean, there's a lot I could do, more shading, more line work, all that, but I don't want to. I don't want to have this be the only thing I do today. Hope you understand. Hope you get it. All right, so this transformer maybe has some like extra stuff under here. I like the ones that have like extra components that just like kind of shoot back. Oh, I need, I need a spot for the emblem or insignia, right? I don't remember what that looks like, but I'll just put a thing right here or something. So yeah, like I said, this is uh, Gimpacon. That's his name, her name, his name, its name, Gimpacon. <laughs> Hope you're having fun. You know, I had an epiphany today. Maybe not new to some of you. For me it was. And that is... If you're not having fun, you're not doing it right. And I mean that about life. I didn't spam Roshan's stream, Mehul. I would designed by Brett I would this is my first transformer ever so it's okay I probably should have been a bit more rectilinear with the legs here you know maybe something more like more like this if I wanted to keep it gen 1 but man I love the Transformers movie you remember when Octo uh, I almost said octopus prime um, Optimus Prime died spoiler alert and I was a kid and I was like, what? Can't kill him. But I guess he dies in the new movies as well. Michael Bay, king of transitions from night to day, or day to night, I should say. You'd be like watching a Transformers movie and then it's like two in the afternoon and then by the, by the time the fight is over, it's like midnight and raining or had rained. I should say. All right. So I believe the next request was some sort of sunglasses. Yeah, the 100 is pretty good. Um, some sort of sunglasses. So I will go ahead and do that. Do -do 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 -do. Just 
real quick here. Maybe something a little, a little generic. Don't wanna, don't wanna overdo it for you guys. Can't blow your minds on a Friday evening, you know. We gotta, we gotta keep it trill. Are the kids even saying that these days? Trill? Or is it, is it, uh, what, like, what, what do people say these days for, like, keeping it cool or whatever? <laughs> what do people say? Can I draw a cute anime girl? Anime? Anime? Um, in theory, yes. However, that's stuff like that that's one of the requests that for me I would need to just like kind of get familiar with maybe practice just a little bit before the stream and then I could do it Ever actually drawn an anime 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 person? I don't think I have. I am using a Prismacolor Premier pencil. It it has a little bit of a waxy lead to it. Can like shade real quick things like I just did there if you push a little heavier you can get a nice thick line so that's what I'm using right now I figured I'll just mix it up maybe do a little pencil sketch here so you can actually do a lot with pencil if you're intentional with your stroke crisp and all that. Let's do another pair. Yeah, the 100 is is pretty good. That's the TV show. The 100. Not to be confused with the 4400, which is also another good show. There's lots of good shows that just keep getting canceled. You know? So I do wish I'd curve this just a little bit more in the front. I'm trying to think if I can actually fix it. Pencil is fun, but you have to keep sharpening it when you draw with it, so. I have not used Stadler pencils, um, and I'm not sure if Prismacolor is available everywhere, so your mileage may vary with that. shade there I'm not super happy with the shape of these but I did want to just honor your request at least show you an approach to sketching these so there you go
But yeah, I like these pens, the pencils. They do have that really soft lead, but it means I can really lay into it. It is burning up in here. <laughs> in my little studio. All right, there we go. Are those Oakley inspired? Okay, fine, fine. I see what you're saying, Nana. I mean, I could do something else. Yeah, maybe something like, like this. These are Spider-Man shades. I'm not being as careful as I should be here, but figure whatever. Um, but yeah, you could do other shades as well. Have I ever done Inktober? Yes, I do Inktober usually every year. Are you guys planning on doing Inktober this year? Inktober is the month of October. Um, everyone draws with pen and ink, ideally. Some people choose to do digital tober. So some people decide to, let me just check my perspective here. Um, some people decide to do digital, but you can do whatever you want. It is hard. Um, I usually just do whatever topic I want to do, though, Nana. Like, I'll just draw whatever I want to draw. I mean, the, the idea or thought is, for me anyways, <laughs> you're just being consistent and practicing every day. So, yeah, this is off right here should be more like more like that I like showing you guys where I mess up just so you know that I'm not proclaiming or pretending to be perfect and sometimes sometimes you can fix things or tweak whatever these look like Yeezy sunglasses everything looks like something that is true <laughs> actually Yeezy sunglasses would probably be like you'd have the lenses and then you'd have these like Tryptophobia inducing holes all over the lenses. Maybe something like this. I feel like these would be like Yeezy sunglasses right there. So if you're trypo trypophobic, avert your eyes, look away. But I feel like I feel like these would be some sort of easy shades or something like that I'll just draw this half but that would be something easy inspired all right let's see what was next on my list I need a beverage refill well most easy things are just completely ugly that's my opinion um and I actually own some easy shoes just because they're so ridiculous uh, Okay, hands. Sam wanted to see hands. Hands holding something. Um, I gotta think of what product. What product should the hand be holding? So usually I'll, I'll just look at my hand, my own hand, and then kind of get a sense, right, for what I'm trying to do. And then start there. So just to make sure I'm 
kind of in the realm of of what I really intend. So if, if there was some handle, I don't know what the product is, I'm just saying. Let's say there's some handle, maybe it's a fishing rod. Or something, I don't know. Some weird product. Let's just say it's a it's a product thing. And then I'll just draw my other fingers. Something like that. So that's kinda how that's kinda how I do it. Alright. And then just I guess I'm still using pencil here. Just kind of shade in the rest here. So I have no idea what this product is or thing, but the request was, how do you show hands holding a product kind of how I would do it. Maybe there's some grips here or something. Yeah, so something like that. All right, so next request we had, I don't think we had any more requests, did we? Do you guys have no more requests? Oh, big earphones. Big earphones. All right, so for big earphones, I like to do ellipse, ellipse, and then decide where the cans are. I'm just gonna do round cans. Now, when I'm doing these cans, I'm thinking of axes, kind of like that. I'll throw some marker on these. You know, maybe something like that. A little bit of an extension here. We got two parts running on each other. Yeah, I don't know what's happening in my house. I hope my AC is not like out. This is gonna be a long ace weekend, if that's the case. So let's hope and pray that my AC is not out. So sketch a day live. Thanks for hanging. Like I serious, I have major back sweats. Like it's concerning me. That's how bad it is. Oh shoot, <laughs> I just remember there's an email I need to respond to, it's kind of important. Alright, so usually I start with something like that and then you can kind of do some sort of cushion for the, for the head. You know, some sort of, some sort of cushioning system. Uh, I guess I do need to be able to swivel the headphones, so let me just get this piece in. You know, maybe this is embedded in here. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to worry about the swivel. I'm just going to say, in this magic joint, that's one of the fun things about sketching. Because <laughs> you could just say, this is held together by lasers and magnets, gravity and prayers. So big chunky headphones, shadow on the ground. Oh, maybe it's not, not even a shadow. Maybe it's actually the cable. And then we can, cause I like cables. Cables are fun, especially if it's like DJ headphones or something. And then maybe that, that comes up into our can here.
so in love. Mm. Should we play Two Truths and a Lie? Spencer edition. Would that be fun? Would you guys want to play along? All right, two truths and a lie, here we go. Actually, I gotta think about this one. Cause I can't start talking and then think because then you'll know what the lie is. All right, you guys ready? Two truths and a lie, here we go. There is no prize because there is no cake. Name that reference. All right, the first, I tried out for American Idol once. The second, I'm terrified of deer. The third, I absolutely cannot stand cheese. Which is the lie? Tell me, which is the lie? All right, so I got the pen sketch down. It's a little bit off the page, but whatever. Whatever, should we, should we make this orange in honor of Sushant Votra? his headphone series he's been working on. I wonder if he's watching. I never actually met the man. Ooh, I am so hot right now. And I don't mean that in any good sense of the word. Hot. I'm using Ohuhu markers. Ohuhu brand. Okay, so. I'm terrified of deer. I've tried out for American Idol once. Or, I absolutely cannot stand cheese. Which is the lie? Okay, so we got some votes here. We got cheese, we got deer. Uh, oh, a vacuum cleaner, I could do a vacuum cleaner. I could do that. I could take your man if I want to. Lucky for you, I don't want to. Um, Svetlana, oh hey Svetlana, it must be very late. It must be very, very late. I wasn't sure if you were gonna join. Sorry about the, the late stream. Svetlana and Art are two of my patrons. Again, if you want to support, great way to do that. They've been doing that for some time now. I made a mistake on this, but I'm gonna pretend like you guys can't see it. <laughs> because I can't, oh, actually I can fix it. I just, I'm sad that I have to fix it this way. All right, the lie is that I actually love cheese. Cheese is good. But I did try it for American Idol once and I am terrified of deer. I don't trust deer. They look innocent, but they'll kick your teeth in. Also, did you know that deer sometimes eat human flesh? And they'll eat birds. This is not a joke, this is serious. So next time you're like, oh, sweet, cute deer. No. More like terrifying animal from the depths of hell, sent to torment humanity. I'm telling you, they are terrifying. So go ahead and pet that deer, but just know they eat human flesh. And I'm not making that up. 
Yeah, I was, I was living in San Francisco. I was working for Astro Studios, and my brother dared me. He was like, if you try for American Idol, I will fly out, and I will support you. He was living in another state, in the United States at the time. At the time. And so I was like, okay, I'll do it. So I did it, and he flew out. And it was an awesome experience for me. It actually helped me overcome a lot of fears in my life. And I'm grateful that I took the chance and did it. It's a really great experience. So, if you ever get the chance to try out for American Idol, I highly recommend it. All right, let's see, let's see, what is this? 52 minutes um, so Instagram you're gonna you're gonna get kicked off eventually here so this is why you want to watch on the YouTube because I could I could stream all day on YouTube and they wouldn't kick me off I think Mark Zuckerberg hates me just kidding I feel like Mark Zuckerberg right now. I'm sweating so much. It's summer where I am, so. And I'm in a tiny room under pressure from you guys, so no wonder I'm sweating. Just kidding. I enjoy it. Um, let's see. Okay, so I told you about deer and American Idol. Yeah. But I love cheese. Cheese is great. Cheese is God's gift to man, or the universe's gift to mankind. Either way. It's all good. All right, so there's my quick, super, super, super duper quick headphones. If you've watched me before, I don't like to spend tons of time on sketches, so that's why my sketches tend to be very just loose, quick, get it done. I don't like to spend a ton of time, so. All right, so we did the headphones, we did hand holding something, we did some eyeglasses, and kick things off with our transformer and warm ups, of course. So I'll do one more sketch. We had a request for something like, someone wanted a real car. I don't like doing real cars. Real cars are boring. Um, Oh, I'm glad you like the brushes, Svetlana. I'm glad Svetlana tried out my Procreate brushes. So I make Procreate brushes as well as Photoshop brushes. You can check those out. Happy Liquid Friday to you. It's 5 o'clock somewhere. It's certainly 5 o'clock here. So we're doing the damn thing. All right, that was my final swig. So home stretch, let's go. Um, okay, we had oh, a car center console center console okay so one way I used to do interiors sometimes you can do them kind of like this like if you wanted to do a series kind of you know even even asymmetrically show what's happening so maybe this is the seat here we've got steering wheel. It's a fun exercise. I haven't done one of these in a long time. I mean, I'm talking like over a decade. <laughs> but yeah, you could do something like this, Luke. You know, get your main sketch lines in. Kind of create a page. I'm responding to Luke because he's a patron. Not really, but you are regular, my man, so thank you. Um, this is just simple, stupid sender console here, but um, you could do something like this. Just to get your, your broad strokes, gestures, whatever in, so maybe that's one. 
And then I could do another one. If I want to focus on the steering wheel, cool, I could do that. Or actually that new that new Cadillac um, electric is pretty cool. It's got like a display all the way across. All right, but what if the display like wrapped down somehow? I don't know how you do that. Or you had like a piece of wood. So I'm basically sketching this like you're looking in the car, kind of top down. And then if you wanted, you could do like maybe a perspective view that kind of overlaps to maybe even show some of these details. So you have you know this display element, and maybe the wood that's kind of intersecting that. steering wheel kind of make a thing out of it <laughs> are you studying cars Luke I know you've uh, you've purchased one of my sketches before from the stream so I'm just curious are you studying car design or just curious, just a fan of cars. So I'm going to change this up a bit. All right, Instagrammers, um, it's probably going to end in about 60 seconds here, so peace and love to you if you want to catch more. Oh, you do interior fab work. Oh, cool. That makes sense. Yeah, so maybe this, this piece here is like wood or something like, you know, some cool maple or whatever. And, and different sketches have different purposes certainly so in this case maybe it's just a lighter sketch showing some materials but not necessarily fully rendered here on the console you know if this is some sort of OLED display or screen maybe just leaving a little white spot I guess I do have this little cutout here, so how about we do this? Oh, we can do something like that. So now it kind of becomes a little vignette of the inside of the vehicle. Clean this one up as well, since this was another idea. Just kind of play with it. So the nice thing about using markers too is sometimes you might not be sure of your final design or what you're going to do, but you can always use the marker to kind of help or clean things up sometimes. I feel like I'm not taking this seriously enough, so my apologies. Maybe I'll do another interior focused stream or something or more car focused but like I said it's been it's been kind of a long day so all right so you can kind of compose or Put ideas together like that. Um, Luke says, "I'm wanting to put my ideas to paper to help communicate with custom with customers." Oh, that makes sense. Um, 
I've done I've done a few things like that, um, renderings, drawings of cars. Nana says <laughs> she knew it was, or they knew it was cheese, um, unless I'm lactose intolerant. Definitely not lactose intolerant. All right. So one last sketch. I'll do a vehicle exterior. Someone requested a BMW X5. Let's see if I can see if I can whip something similar out. I am looking up reference just for the design details. That's it really. We'll just start with two wheels. We'll make it work. Maybe even just throw an ellipse here just to start. And then uh, let's try and capture a few things. Maybe this grill, for example. Might start with something like this. I'm gonna take some liberties here. Uh, okay, let's see where this hood line goes. I want to make sure I don't don't mess it up too much. My video is choppy. Might be my kids playing games. My apologies. All right, should be good now. Okay, just looking at this hood line, make sure I've got it right. And this is like a some sort of SUV, right? X5. So I'm going to stylize it a little bit. Just make sure I get the, the headlight right here the light shape so people don't lose their minds and go, that's not a BMW. How dare you? I will defeat you. It sounds like some uh, audio sample that you might have in like a lo-fi song. I will defeat you. How dare you? Yeah, my kids are kind of going crazy with Fortnite right now, so my apologies humans humans it's been too long since the Mandalorian's been off TV by the way I'm just gonna throw that out there and say this is the way this is the way All right, the nose of this is a little bit too short. Um, I can tell. Oh, that actually feels pretty good. Except now it feels kind of like an Audi. But I'm going to keep rolling with it. You know, it feels a little bit like an Audi here. Trying to decide if I should throw some color on this this dude or not. Yeah, I, I totally botched this line. This line does not really feel correct, and this grill is too wide. So let's see if I can fix it. Let's see if I can fix this thing. So it looks like it has some weird shape thing here. I'm not even going to worry about this one. I'm just going to like kind of shade it in because I really don't care that much. Get our kidney beans in the front or very aggressive kidney beans. 
Michael DeTullo would be suffering right now looking at these kidney beans. They are somewhat obnoxious, very large. If you don't know who that is, check out Instagram.com slash D2, that's the number 2, L, O. Alright, little something, something like that. You can always flip your sketch and check if you're unsure, by the way. So flipping your sketch, it's kind of like when you do a self-portrait and you flip it over and look at it, and then you're not really sure. I'm not drawing any more cars today. Someone said, draw Tesla! Um, but you can also overlay your sketch, so once you've gotten the rough, you can now come in and be a little bit more careful if you wanted to. Maybe even exaggerate wheel size, all things you can do. Maybe I'll rake this back just a little bit. So this is just re-sketching, okay? So I'm not really tracing so much as just paying attention to what lines were there before. But something you can do if you're trying to clean up a sketch, and you might do this several times as you're working, totally normal. If you're just trying to get a little cleaner, cleaner look or something in here. So I've never drawn a BMW X5. I'm not staring at one right now. Just looked at one for the placement of things. Okay. And that's totally fine. I get questions um, from time to time if I use reference. If I do, it's mostly for the placement of things, proportion, but not like exact position. All right, we got these lighting things or whatever it is in here. I'll just throw this in. And let's take, I'll just use this pen. It's a big brush pen. Just wanna add some blacks, contrast. Beef lines up where you need them. look like So maybe something like that. Super loose, but it works. 
So rough sketch, tighter sketch, you can redo it, different materials, whatever. It's all good. Thank you, Marco. Um, Tom, you're up past your bedtime. What's happening? I'm about to wrap things up. Okay. Thanks for watching. Just quick recap. I did a lot of rough sketches today, really quick. Um, I don't do guns. Um, I might do a rocket. I don't necessarily want to do a sword. I'm not sure what you mean by fireworks, but anyhow. So, just super quick sketches here. Really rough. Um, interior. Kick things off, Tom, with a transformer. We did that. Did some shades. Apparently Oakley, and then some Yeezy shades. Uh, hand holding something. I don't know what that thing is. And then headphones. All right. Thanks for joining, guys. It's been fun. I'm going to go probably take a shower because I don't know why, but I'm just sweating like a madman. Um, if you're looking for ways to support, like I said, Patreon's a great way. Um, Tom's a Patreon. We've got Luke. we got Latrice. Svetlana and Art. It's growing. Um, and that's where you'll find high resolution images. So I'm going to scan all these in and just post those to the Patreon repository folder. Super secret, hopefully, unless you guys shared it all out. Um, spot. So if you want access to that, become a patron. Um, thank you for watching. That's one of the best ways to support as well. And if you're interested in those brushes that Svetlana mentioned, uh, that's at sketchaday.com. All right. Hope you have a happy Friday slash Saturday, whatever time it is. Um, I know it was a little bit later today, but I had fun and I hope you did as well. All right. Much love to you. Like my hat says, I should put that back on. Much love. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And I will see you next time right here on Sketch Day. Peace.